Good afternoon, everyone. We must have been concentrating for a long time, but we are the last presenter, so please enjoy it. First, let me introduce my fellow members. I'm Hiroyuki Tsunagawa. This is Sae Yoshida and Anna Asai. We are from Kobe City University of Foreign Studies. Okay. Let us begin our presentation. So first of all, what is Target Date Fund, so-called TTF? It is a fund with a target year, and customers can pick a suitable one according to their life events. The remarkable point is that investment specialists manage portfolio instead of the customers, so that they can build asset more efficiently. Our goal is to make this TDF popular among the young generation in Japan. To achieve it, we made a promotional strategy which brings three generations together. It is called intergenerational marketing, which is really effective in this aging society with fewer children. To take an example, in the industry of Japanese school bag, land sale, Companies encouraged grandparents to buy more expensive products for their grandchildren. As a result, they could survive or even increase their sales in such a severe condition of the market. Since then, as this data shows, around 70% of the customers are grandparents. So just before we explain how we adapted on TDL, let us talk about the current situation of the industry. TDF is one of the best ways to build asset privately. Especially for young people, it is more necessary because today, Japanese social security is becoming quite unreliable. However, current penetration rate for investment trust is inclined to the elderly people. When it comes to the young people, as you can see, it is less than 10%. Then, why they don't? What is the obstacle? Here is a survey which shows the reasons why young people do not use investment trust. And from this chart, we realize the primary reason is lack of recognition. Also, <coughs> Lack of assets is a significant factor. From now on, we will elaborate on how we overcome these obstacles and to spread the use of TDF among Japanese young generation. Here is our target today. Our presentation is divided into three parts and we will explain each part in this order. Okay, let's start with target. First, our target is housewife aged 25 to 35, and their annual income level is 2 to 3 million yen. And their main concern is educational expenses for their children. Other than her, her parents work as investors, and her child will be beneficiary in our plan. Here's our scheme. She can share the information about the product with her parents, and ask them to support financially. And her child will get money with some return when a target date comes. Next is our solution. As we said in the beginning, the major obstacles are due to two. We attack each one with people in different age brackets. So first, we try to increase awareness of TDF among housewives who are collecting the information about parenting. In addition, most of them are managing their family assets. Then, I will show you our promotion channels in order to attract housewives. First one is to put advertisement on maternity's magazine, such as Tamago Club. It is popular among expectant mothers who want reliable resources about parenting and finance. 
advertisement will be like this. The contents is explanation of a TDF and our plan that will be appealing to housewives. It can bring up TDF to a new trend of asset building because this magazine is regarded as a Bible among them. So second one is to put the qualm on household budget management application called Money Forward. Actually, 61% of users are aged 20s to 30s. Also, we can focus on the target who is conscious of finance. These are samples that investment expert from Fidelity is answering frequently asked questions and solving their worries by suggesting TDF. So, by advertising TDF through both of them, we can overcome the first obstacle. Then, move on to the second one. Lack of assets. We attack this problem with grandparents because the elderly people hold 60% of financial assets in Japan. According to life cycle hypothesis, they are mostly saving rather than spending. It means they can afford to pay compared to youngsters. We found out that this money should be used to help housewife who is worried about her future. Of course, it is for grandchildren's sake, mainly in educational expenses. Generally, the affection from grandparents to grandchildren is so considerable that they tend to spend 137 yen on average for their grandchildren. Our promotion is designed to lead this behavior into a purchase of a TDF. That is why this makes sense financially and also psychologically. Now, the low funded problem is resolved as well. Next, I would like to give you an overview of how our plan works. First of all, wife and grandparents pull their money into a bank account in the name of her child. With that account, they buy a TDF product. When the target date comes, for example, 20 years later, her child take over the account. At that time, they can withdraw their money or buy a new TDF product. Basically, we suggest that they apply Junior NISA on the account in order to avoid a tax. The point is, if we already have a Junior NISA account, it will switch to a normal one automatically that will be used by himself in the future. Eventually, they will become new and long-term customers. Finally, we look at our campaign. We named this three-generation project as Aijo no Sedai Yokoeta Mokoshikata, which means in English, a new way of love in Hindus. In this project, we put a strong emphasis on family bonding. So we made two special campaigns to promote our plan. One is letter for the future. The other is birth rate investment. So I'd like to share the detail of the first idea, letter for the future. We created an original message card to make this plan more attractive. This is a template. The family is expected to write a message for the future like this. It should be about the feeling at the time they bought this one. So next, let me explain a flow of a letter. When they buy this product, we send out a blank message card with brochure to them. After writing message, they send it back to the company. 
And when a target date comes, we send the letter to the child. And we are sure that this beautiful letter from the family can contribute to family one day. However, it takes a quite long time to pass the account to a child. So we came up with an additional idea to keep their motivation and make this plan more customized. The second idea is called birth weight investment. Do you know birth weight saving? It is now on trend among young mothers on Instagram. After a baby is born, they deposit the same number as their child's birth weight every month. We propose applying this idea to TDF. Since the number has a special meaning, this account can be more memorable for all the family members. We have been talking about solutions and campaigns so far. Here's the last topic. When is the best season for promotion? This story shows a love schedule. We place an advertisement as a newborn gift all through year. And from October to December, we are going to focus on Japanese culture of otoshidama, which is kind of otherwise given to kids on January 1st. Please imagine, our mother brings a brochure of KDF when visiting their parents' home on New Year's Day. We suggest to replace a part of otoshidama with KDF. So these two events are going to be a great opportunity to provide grandparents with information and make a request. Now, we are coming to the end of the presentation. Here is the budget for our plan. Within this budget, we can make all of the plan come true. I'm now going to give a brief summary of what we have covered today. As we mentioned all through the presentation, we adapt intergenerational marketing to break through the two biggest obstacles. In other words, we are taking advantage of grandparents who are our regular customer. Because they already know the value of the product, it's way easier to make them buy one more product than to get more new customers from scratch. TDF is ready to be a mainstream in asset building. And grandparents can be a perfect supporters for sure. This is all for our presentation. It was a pleasure being here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please remind, the more you take time, the bigger is getting to be. It will reach your next generation in the form of target date fund. We really hope that young people like us can build, can gain enough financial literacy to build own asset for the better future. We strongly believe that our idea can make a revolution in the industry. Let us build your future. Thank you. Now we'll have questions from judges. Thank you for your presentation. I have one question. Um, I think in your plan, the market is um, market shrinking because um, the birth rate in Japan is smaller and smaller. So um, how do you take care of it? Thank you for your question. And in the first place, the, uh, the aging society and decreasing in population is inevitable in Japan. So we, the point is that we get young people to, our, to be a customer as soon as we possible. So that in that sense, we are proposing the suitable idea we can make it come true. So, Uh, today's uh, theme of this presentation contest is uh, how to make 
TDF popular among the younger generation. And when it, when it comes to how we make it, uh, it's inevitable. We consider in, it's inevitable, the shrinking population. And still in that kind of situation, we, we made a strategy to make it. So the shrinking population is an inevitable condition. And in that kind of condition, uh, our idea still works well. So maybe, yeah, it's, it's, thank you. Thank you for your very interesting uh, presentation and idea. Uh, I like the idea of sharing uh, the love between the grandparents and the you know, grandson and daughters. Uh, I have a question, so could you please elaborate a little bit more on how to, uh, how to uh, pass the value of TDF to uh, these grandfather, grandmothers? Uh, currently, TDF is targeted mainly for younger generations, so that uh, while the elderly people uh, have more affordable money to invest, but they don't actually know much about uh, TDF. So, how to pass a message to elderly people on TDM? Thank you for the question. Uh, according to the survey, uh, when elderly people collect the information about that kind of finance, financing, uh, they tend to uh, tend to get the information from their family. So we came up with an idea using housewives and. Uh, uh, in terms of, in terms of investment trust, they are already using that kind of things, so they have they know the value of investment trust, and we suggest that uh, additionally they use TDF for their lovers for their families, so maybe the incentive is good enough for the elderly people to use target date fund for their grandchildren. Thank you for the questions and thank you for Team Generable.